From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect another warm day across the Bay Area today. Greg D is going to have your full forecast coming up. But first, so let's get your ABC Action News headlines. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is asking for your help to find a man wanted for murder. Deputies say 20 year old Dalton Martin is wanted in connection with a home invasion in Lithia that happened on October 30th. Two men attacked the homeowner and shot at his pregnant wife. Authorities say she went and got a gun and returned fire, killing one of the men. The accomplice then ran off. Martin is wanted for murder because his actions directly led to a death. Meanwhile, the search continues for the gunman who shot and killed a man at a heart bus stop. The victim was found on a bus bench on East Florida, Nebraska and Nebraska Avenue around 730 last night. Police are working right now to get surveillance video from a nearby business. Today, you can get a look at two new options at the Hillsborough County School District put together to relieve overcrowding at Barrington Middle School. It's happening tonight from 6 to 7 in the school's cafeteria. If you can't go to the meeting, we've got a link to the plans and also tonight's presentation on our website. Just go to abcactionnews.com. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders claiming victory today after his win in the New Hampshire Democratic presidential primary. Former Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg came in a close second. Then just behind them, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, far behind in fourth and fifth places, Senator Elizabeth Warren and former Vice President Joe Biden neither earned any delegates. A new warning for parents and students about the latest viral challenge. A South Florida teen suffered serious injuries doing the Skull Breaker Challenge. Here's a look at it right here. Two students trick a third into jumping, then they kick that person's feet out from under them. We're seeing reports of injuries all over the country. One teen injured in South Florida is understandably angry. Now I have to go through all this treatment process for something that, for somebody's stupidity. Yeah, it is really stupid. Miami-Dade County Schools disciplined three students after that incident. Two students in Daytona Beach are also facing charges for taking part in this challenge. Some great news for Tampa Bay Rays fans. Pitchers and catchers reported for spring training this morning in Charlotte County. Position players report next Tuesday. The Rays will play their first spring game in Charlotte Sports Park on Sunday, February 23rd. They'll open up the 2020 season at the Trop on March 26th against the Pirates. Want to check in now with Greg D for our forecast on this Wednesday. Looking really good to you today. Nice and warm and sunny too. Hello everybody as our temperatures climb into the 80s after some morning fog. Can't rule out a brief sprinkle of all the humidity around, but it's just going to be a warm and partly sunny day. Dew point temperatures into the 70s and that means it's going to feel oppressively humid at times especially in the afternoon. We have a cold front on the way in the seven day forecast. You can take a look at it now by downloading the ABC Action News app. Deal. Thank you, Greg. You can get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV or Apple TV.